In this video, we're going to look at factoring out the greatest common factor using the area model. We're going to start with some really basic ones. We're finding area of a rectangle. It's going to be length times width. And so if we did this, we would say it the area is 4x times 8x, and that's 30x, 32x squared would be the area. And so starting there, uh, the relationship between the two sides is that it's they're going to multiply together to get the area. So that's our first main concept. Uh, when we look at this, uh, example four and eight are factors. They're things that are multiplied together to get a value, that value being 32. But four and eight are the factors. So the side lengths are the, are the factors. And that's going to come in really handy in the next few because now we're given the area and we're actually trying to find uh, the side lengths. And so if we had 15 units, uh, we need two things that multiply together to get 15. That might be three and five, or that might be one and 15. You might even get crazy and say, you know, this is 2 and this is 7.5, right? As long as they multiply together to get 15, these are factors. If we have 15x, uh, maybe you have 3x and you have 5 as side lengths. They multiply together to get 15x. Or you might have like 5x and 3 they still multiply together to get 15x. So these are factors. So we would actually write these like this, 5 times 3x or 3 times 5x, right? We, we could show those multiply together to find the area. So we could write those factors next to each other in a multiplication problem. Now, we're, looking, we're going to be looking at the greatest common factor. So we're going to get a little bit more complex. So we're going to say the area maybe on this one is this 2x to the third minus 8x squared. And there's two terms here. So we need things that multiply together to get this for the area. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at each of those terms and we're going to pull out what we call the greatest common factor. And the greatest common factor is a set of numbers that is the largest factor that all of them share. So looking at 2x to the third and 8x squared, what's the largest, first off, number coefficient? We look at 2 and 8. The largest uh, one that is a factor of both is 2. And then x to the third and x squared, we would pull out an x squared because that's the maximum number of factors within that x. So this factored form, uh, this would be your GCF. And then this is the other factor that when we multiply the GCF to get by the other portion, by this x minus 4, we actually get what we started with. So this is the factored form of it. So we take that GCF, we pull it right out front, we open a parenthesis, and then we figure out what things multiplied together will get to this area of 2x to the third minus 8x squared. So now given this one, uh, looking at each individual, let's start here, 15x squared plus 10, looking for the GCF, the greatest common factor here the largest number that's a factor of both, 15 and 10, the largest number is 5. And then if we look at x squared, and there's no x's over here, so we cannot pull an x out. So our, we're going to start with 5 as our greatest common factor, and then we have to figure out what multiply together will get this other portion. When we do, that's going to be 3x squared plus 2. So the 3x squared is going to give us the 15x squared, and then the 5 times 2 is going to give us that. Now, there might be other fact, like forms of factoring that you could find here, but this is with the greatest common factor being 5. And so the greatest common factor going out front, and then the other portions, so that when we multiply it back together, we get the area of 15x squared plus 10. Now with this one, uh, how we can also organize this, we can use our box organizer to help with this. So we have x squared and we have a positive 10x and we need things that multiply together to get each of these. So we're going to need an item like right here, an item right here, and an item right here. I start with the greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor here is x. And x times something gives x squared. That something is x. And then x times something gives 10x. 
and that something is a positive 10. So if I was writing my factored form, it's going to be x and then x plus 10. And if you wanted this visual, you know, this is what it would look like on your box. But that's how we can use that box method uh, to really see that this is one of your factors, this is your other factor. We need to write those multiplied together in this way. All right, the next one, if we have three terms, same, same concept supply, right? So we have 4x squared, we have negative 10x, and we have 2. So I'm going to use that box organizer again. My greatest common factor here is going to be 2. So I look at 4, negative 10, and 2. And 2 is the largest uh, value that's a factor of each of those. And then x squared, x, and nothing, um, no nothing we can really do with that. So now we have to ask ourselves, 2 times something is going to give this 4x uh, squared. That's going to be 2x squared. And then something times negative, 2 times something is going to be negative 10x squared. It's going to be negative 5x. And then 2 times something gives 2. That's got to be positive 1. So we have our greatest common factor, 2. And then we have 2x squared minus 5x and plus 1. And that's your factored form. So anytime that you write this as a factor form, remember, when we multiply it out, we should get what we, what we started with. It's just this, it's the same uh, values, just different form, looks a little bit different. This is our last example. Um, so again, I'll use that area model, x to the third, 10x squared, and negative 2x. My greatest common factor on this one is, looks like an x, and then if I find my other values, it looks like this. So my factored form looks like this. So my greatest common factor is out front. And then if I multiplied that back through, I'd get what I started with. And that's how you're going to use the area model to help you factor out the greatest common factor.